Okay, so on tonight's agenda, well, I'm trying to get the leaf springs out. or at least start um probably not get them all the way out tonight it's been a long week at work it's only thursday don't want to kill myself for friday rather do it on the weekend um anyways yeah i was really not looking forward to this i hate removing leaf springs um these ones shouldn't be too bad because i only put them in two years ago i swapped out to three quarter ton ones because the half and or the half ton ones were pretty sacked out and the second leaf had worn like three quarters of the way through the main leaf and they did a nice S shape and it was just bad. So I put these ones in two years ago. Hopefully they shouldn't be too bad. And I really wasn't looking forward to it, but then I remembered I have this paste. And I have an impact. Impact, I always thought sucked. Um, so I never used it, but I didn't have the greatest compressor after like three seconds it was out of air. So um Trying to get back in the habit of using one because I've been out of the habit of using one for so long. Um, let's see if she'll do leaf spring brackets or leaf spring bolts. Sorry, been a long week. So this body trim is just keeps getting handier and handier. I realized I wouldn't have been able. Uh, sorry, bad camera angle. Let's try this again. Um, I would have never been able to get in here with an impact because there would have been a body here. Uh, I would have had to do like U-joints up and stuff. But instead, I was able to just go like this. Now, let's see if this will do it. Look at that. See, this is what I was just talking about. And what if I can just spin the whole bolt from the inside of the frame? That actually worked really well. Um, I realized I should stop because I was laying under the leaf spring. Uh, so now that it's got that under it, I can finish pulling the bolt out and then it can swing forwards and I can get the bolt out of the shackle. Whole leaf spring can come out. And then, uh, but those were the easy bolts because those are the ones I had taken out and those are new bolts from two years ago. Um, brand new grade eight bolts. Still got some color on them. Um, this one here, I did not remove when I did that. This has new bushings and stuff. This is just there. So not looking forward to that. Oh, I might have taken them out. I can't remember. Did I? I can't remember. Oh, maybe I did. I took them out and then pulled this off. Put it on the new springs and then put it in. Okay, so that bolt should come out easy too. Mm. All right, what we're gonna do is a little flipperoo. Pull it and I didn't even know it. There, well that's on there like that. We just gained height. Now I just gotta cut the bottom out of that so it can bolt in, do some bracing across the top. So she doesn't uh, collapse while we're driving. That wouldn't be good. Uh, and boom, lift. Make some plates for this, bolt it on. Should be sitting under her own weight and we can uh, see how much taller we made her. And start figuring out the sway bar and brakes and all that stuff. Or move on to the front. Probably move on to the front. Get the whole thing lifted up and then figure it out from there. And I did get bushings here when I bought those bushings. Um, just at the time, I was too lazy to swap them out. As you can see, they should be done. Um, I do them right now, but 
I can only find one. Um, and then I'll have to buy some more anyways for the, the front because I'm just going to use another set of these. Um, so I'll probably get the truck all situated and lifted and everything done and then take it all back apart, sandblast everything, paint it, put new bushings in, uh, or powder coat instead of paint. But yeah, that's probably the plan. Build it twice. Uh, kind of the more proper way to do it instead of painting everything and doing new bushings, putting it together and then go, oh, it doesn't fit. And you got to cut it apart and wreck everything. So that's the plan. So if you're wondering about the bushings there, they will be replaced uh, at some point. Or at least that's the plan. You never know. I might get it together the first time and go, oh, I don't have money or, oh, I need to drive the truck and just drive it like that. That's the Frit Garage way, I guess. So play it by ear. And I bolted back in, somewhat mocked up. Uh, for those of you trying to figure out what I'm doing here, i uh, never seen a shackle flip before. If you remember, the shackle went up here, at least bring my, oh, I'm a little farther out. Let me try that again. If you remember, sh uh, shackle bolted here and went up here and the leaf spring was way up here. Well, now it'll bolt in here, come down, probably a little higher than this, probably about here. And it holds it that much farther down. Doesn't change at the front. So it only, um, like eight inches here will only be like four inches here because it's halfway. Um, but it will also tilt it up a little bit so you don't have to use shimmed blocks or anything. Normally you want to tip your pinion up in the back. Um, but if you're trying to, if you want to get a better reference of it, I don't know if you can see it. You can sort of see the, the rear leaf spring back there on the other side compared to this one. It sits a lot lower down now. I'll actually uh, take a measurement. I'll get this roughly where I think it should be, and then I'll measure, see how much of a difference it is. Obviously, it'll be different once there's weight on it, but I'm just curious to see. Uh, I'm gonna measure it, call it a night, and then I think on the weekend I'm gonna start cutting. Um, to weld onto that, I actually got a new toy. You know, use this with it. Uh, got some awesome stuff here from Princess Art. Got a sand blaster and 50 pounds of sand. So all those hard to reach spots in this. Look up in here where it's hard to grind and everything. Um, some of the rust up in here. And like in here where it might be hard to grind, make a clean surface. I'll give it a roll with the sandblaster. I mean, obviously, I'm going to try to get the wire wheel in there and clean it up and everything. But if that doesn't work, I've got the sandblaster. We have the technology. So I got it kind of propped up roughly where it should be. I was expecting four inches from this. Uh, I measured this side frame to spring was 12 and three quarters. Go to the other side. You guessed it, eight and three quarters. That's four inches. Boom. I probably need six, so I might have to do like a two inch block. I, I, I can handle a two inch block. But when you start getting five, six inches in a block, like really to lift the front six inches in this and then to match in the rear, I'd have to do a six inch block and it's, it's not good. Um, even with the two inch block and actually even if I don't even have a block, I still might put kind of an anti wrap bar in the back. Um, see how it handles first and then might do that uh also another thing is i could always uh put more springs in this give it a little bit more arch and height to the pack that would fill up a little bit too so we'll just kind of bolt it together and see where it sits and then do the front and see where it sits and then try to match them with blocks and springs no blocks in the front though absolutely no blocks in the front uh -uh. 